Hey everybody, welcome back. So, uh, I went and set up the tank by a 5x5. Five five, uh, and so, in the end, 16 drills only got me 531.5 uh, crude oil, which really sucks. Because um, there's a 1% chance for them to break. So, with all the right math, it should have been about 800 uh, on average. Um, but I got the lower end, not the higher end or the middle end. Uh, so, that sucks. I built a second tank here too. And I've, of course, enlarged in this. So, this is the... Uh, the 5x5, five five, and uh, this is another 5x5. Five five. I'm sharing the walls. So you could share the walls, the backs, whatever. So if you did another one on the other side, and then one in between, it would be a really good discount kind of thing. Uh, you can put them underneath. You could stack these up to the sky limit if you wanted to. Um, but uh, anyways, yeah, they have 8,000 buckets worth. So you don't have to really worry about much space. Uh, I just did it anyways for now. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. So um, basically to convert the fuel, I thought light fuel sounds like the, the way to go first, right? So, uh, to make the light sulfuric, uh, we can't do the distillation tower. That's uh, stainless steel, I believe. So do, do the distillery. Um, basically you're going to go with crude oil into sulfuric light fuel and then sulfuric light fuel. You're going to take them in a chemical reactor from sulfuric light fuel to hydrogen. And you're going to make light fuel and sulfuric acid. And to make the hydrogen, all you need is electrolyzer with water, and it'll create yourselves some hydrogen. And you don't need a lot of that. For the light fuel, it's 2,000 of that, you know, whatever, 12,000 of that. And, um, you know, you're getting it at a really slow rate anyways, 1,000 to 500 per 10 seconds. So you're... Uh, your, your your electrolyzer and stuff will definitely keep up to that. So I thought that might be worth the uh, goal to try to hit today anyways and see if we can do that. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to set this all up yet, but uh, we'll figure it out. So let's go with the distillery. So it's pretty simple. All the blocks that we've done already, I just got things already kind of set up there. Here's the chemical reactor. There you go. And then what else do we want? Well, another electrolyzer. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't grab another one of these guys. There you go. So here's an electrolyzer. Awesome. And I'm going to need some demons later on. So I need 16 of them, I believe, for the future here. So uh, let's get that uh, going here. I'm just going to macerate them down so we have them later on. Okay, so uh, let's see how we want to set this up. So we'll do them over here. Um, I probably won't put it against this wall just so I can use up this wall over time, potentially. That's what I was thinking. So let's try uh, for now. Um, let's let's start with like a setup over here, I guess. So let's start with like the distillery here. And then you get your chemical reactor. How how much space and how much of a mess do you want, right? Like that 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 depends on a few things here. Maybe I'll do it like this. Okay, chemical reactor, and then you got your electrolyzer. I'm not sure if this is gonna work out as well as I want, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so the first thing is we're gonna feed this guy over to here, and I think you can share this. So I think you can do like an in and out on this, for example. Um, actually, I don't know how that works. Yeah, you can do that. There you go. So that shouldn't let it go in and out, potentially. So imagine accidentally shift clearing your... <laughs> Insert or extract. Okay, so I'm hoping what I can do here is... Do I have any of that? No, I don't. Let's go and get some of the black piping here. I'm hoping I can pull it out like that, too. I've never tried, but... Uh... I guess we'll see. That's an item pipe. I don't even need that. There you go. Black fluid pipe. We will give it a try here. Okay, so we're hoping we can just simply just go like this. And it'll go. Yeah, it did. Okay, that cool. Okay, so it's a pretty nice little network here. Um, so that filled it up with crude oil. And then that, that can get obviously moved to from the distillery. So... From this distillery, we won't turn it on yet because I want to make sure I, you know, get this right. From the distillery, we're going to be uh, making this and you're going to make your sulfuric light fuel. So this is going to go into the chemical reactor. So the chemical reactor, obviously, right beside it. So let's go ahead and get our wrench out here. Do our shift right click here and we'll tell it to extract the fluid. So that should go in here. And then you got this one. Now, this is the only downside with the chemical reactor. It has a lot of outputs. And you got to lock them and change them. And oh my goodness, it's uh, 
This will make a difference. This is where we're gonna have to use filtering, and I think you can do filtering on these. No, I actually don't know how that works then, because uh, I was hoping to do filtering, but it has multiple outputs. Left click to extract. So you might have to figure out which one goes to which, unless you could put no, because if there's no filtering in it, yeah. Oh damn. Unless the pipe itself can be used for filtering inside of it at first, like, I don't know. Yeah, okay, well, we'll figure it out. Anyways, we're hoping we can then ch tell it to go into uh, the next thing, right? So we're gonna tell you to go in here, and then we're gonna have you fluid auto, auto op output, and you're just one fluid, right? Oh no, you got oxygen too, huh? So you got hydrogen and oxygen, oh boy. Maybe we won't tell it to which one to do quite yet then until we figure that part out as well. Okay. And then we're gonna power these all up. So let's just uh let's just hook up the power here like that. There you go. And then we'll open this all up here. So let's get some power going. I was thinking of uh just hooking it up into this little array over here and just adding more of these to it. So that way we have them and we've got extra oomph to it eventually here. So let's go ahead and just we'll put you guys here. Are you guys actually not attached to it? There you go. Oh, you don't like to attach that way. Interesting. Didn't think you cared, to be fair. What the? LV steam turbine. Why Why aren't you connecting? Oh, does it have to only connect to this part here, I guess? Let's try again. Oh, there we go. So far, most things don't seem to care, but that one, obviously, he cared. He's like, buddy, I actually care how this works. Okay. We'll just make a mess here, and then we'll clean it up later on, obviously. I tried making it so you, when you look down the pipes, or, you know, we weren't looking at grass and stuff, so I tried to make it cleaner. Um, So we need more of you. We we'll have enough of you. Let's get more water. Uh, so we just need uh, you. Well, we don't need that many of you, I guess, technically, probably. Well, actually, you never know, but anyways, fluid pipes. We have a bunch on us. Okay, so we can just go with you like this. And there we go. Now, I've been still using that one, one thing, and which is probably not needed to be upgraded this minute, just for the fact that what we're doing here doesn't require a lot, but it's probably getting to the point where we're overusing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was hoping I could find an easy way to grab it from here, but uh, we might need to go up top and look for it down. I was wondering if there was any peeking down, but I don't see any, so. Let's go over here and figure that out then. This is where it's coming down right here. Oh, oh, well, it comes down here. So it does come out on this side. Yeah, right here. Okay. We'll figure that out then. Count. So it should be coming somewhere around here. Uh, no, that's that part. Where are we? Right around here. Okay. Might as well do this after. Make life easier-ish. Okay. Do we care too much about it uh, hitting this? Not really. So I need to hit it. this stuff right here, I guess. You know, something like that. That works. Okay, that should work, yeah. This is for the electrolyzer. Oops. So we just want to click the electrolyzer, bring it down. There you go. That should work, okay. I feel like I didn't get, oh, it's up there. I was like, I feel like I didn't get the, the pickup sound for that one. Uh, that's because we didn't. Okay, so that's funny looking there, but works. And then we wanna just hook into this here. Excellent, there we go. So nice, firm, blue looking liquid going through that. 
I know that sounded wrong. Okay, so that should be going into Electrolyzer, so that'll start doing that. Okay, so what we should do is maybe like, oh, I guess if you power this on, all of it's going to turn on at once, so well. Um, I got to figure it out how to do that, so maybe I should turn off the auto output on everything just in case, just to start with. Now we might have to turn it off because there there's container limits and crap like that too, so keep that in mind. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, let's get the power then going here. So power. There you go. We can just literally connect into the power right here. There you go. That should be making it run. There you go. So you're making that. You're making your water. So which one is which, by the way? I guess you have to wait till it's done and it'll tell you. <laughs> I think that's what we want. I think that's the hydrogen one, but we'll double check first. Okay, hydrogen. So it says left click, uh, left click to extract. Fudge the coal. Wait, what are you making with that? Oh, you took both of them? Oh my goodness, it took both of them? Can I clear this out then? No, I can use it with a, what do you call it for it? A bucket or a tank. So that's actually kind of funny in R because uh, what it did instead was it uh, recreated the water again. So it took the three water and put the two together. And <laughs> funny, funny. So I don't know how to filter that. I might have to figure how that works. Lock editing. I wonder if I can like, is there a way to clear this out by the way? No, probably with a little thing you can do it. Darn it. I'm out of... I want to sprint, but I have to wait now because we can't sprint. Okay. It's like all I want to do was move face there. I'm in a rush. Can I like tell this to never be whatever? Oh, I know what to do. Um. Can I do something like this? I wonder if that'll work. It should void it now. Dun 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 dun, that's exactly what it did, okay. So what we could do here instead is you got all these ones, right? So you could do 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 like this, as far as I know. And then you do hydrogen on this one. So you take your hydrogen, you put it in here. It's also locked, right? And then that's it. So these are all locked. So we don't even need the, technically the locks here. We can just remove them or whatever. There you go. But now when we turn on fluid auto extract, it'll only do hydrogen out. Yeah, so avoided it right away. Meh, sucks to be you. But now we have hydrogen in here. Okay, now we're talking. And sulfuric light fuel, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do... Oh, yeah, we need sulfuric. We're going to have to make sure we add this one in there. We would have lost all of that light fuel. Make sure you get the little sulfuric light fuel. So we can turn on fluid auto extraction enabled. There you go. Okay, I think we we got the idea of it anyways. The only downside is you get another material that I have no use for, but maybe I can figure something out. So there's your light fuel. So I don't know how you filter out the pipes. So like if I want to pump that out, how do I know which one I want to pump out? That's my problem. Like oh, 
Oh, you set the fluid for the network, it says. Okay. So if we want to do light fuel, I'm guessing I don't even need to do that. This I don't know if this was added later, but yeah. Okay. Okay, that works better. This sucked. Okay, so let's go ahead and just open you all up right now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add a piping in here. I guess we can use the yellow one. It really matches this, this color, to be fair. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to come down from down below, I guess. There you go. There you go. So, we're going to set this one to sulfuric light fuel. And we're going to do outsert only. And that should work. Oh, shoot. No, this is light fuel, not sulfuric. Sulfuric was the first one. Light fuel. There you go. So it should have gone in here, I'm guessing. These have gone in there and not voided it. There you go. 12 buckets of light fuel. Okay, so we got it. So that's not too bad. We figured out how to work that well. Uh, definitely having the ability to grab and put the, the tiles in there really, really make a life difference. I'm so happy I figured that out the other day. I just did it randomly. It might be in the guide somewhere. I never noticed, but uh, um, there was just one point I just like, I wonder, you know, it was just like a stupid I wonder thing. Like if I, if I was a decent programmer, I was thinking I would do this and yeah, there you go. Obviously, somebody's a decent programmer. So there we go. So we got light fuel in there. Obviously, we're kind of voiding all the other crap for now. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Um, if it's needed, well, we'll make more of it anyway. So, um, yeah, so let's make ourselves some of these tools. I want some of these cool things here. So let's go and get ourselves this here. And I hope we have more of these in bar. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. So we're going to go ahead and make ourselves some more of these blades. There you go. And then, uh, oh, my goodness, it's above the tank because that's how it Ah, ha, 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 ha. I love it. That's because oxygen, it floats, right? So, um, okay. So what we need is more pumps, probably for both of them, right? Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. So what else do you need? We need this al aluminum tank. So these are double the size of the steel ones. So there's the drill. And here is the saw. There we go. I guess those are considered some big deals, huh? There you go. And so I'm guessing we just right click this somehow. I don't know if you can do it with this interface, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it's not. M well, I wonder if you can do it with the pipeline. No. I hope this doesn't kill it on us. Let's try doing that. No, thankfully it didn't screw it up though. Okay, so that doesn't work. Now I'm pretty sure you can use it as fuel. They do say they're diesel chainsaw, but I'm pretty sure you can use any fluid you want in it. I think it's just because we're not doing it right. So um, another way to test this out is how do we fill this up? I'm guessing this is not gonna fill up like this, right? No, so we might need to go like this. And then switch this into like the whole in and out kind of crap. And then just have this part of it. So I'm hoping that'll work. There you go. And then there we go. Wait, you guys should hold more than that. 4,000 buckets. I put an aluminum thing that's like supposed to be way more. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so there you have it. So this thing acts like... Yeah, fortune or silk touch, and this is the same thing, fortune or silk touch. So, and it's not like a three, uh, th a three, you know, like the three by three kind of size uh, one. What was the other? Three by three by one, I guess you could say. This is actually supposed to be, uh, I think, a one by one by one. Uh, so uh, that's fine. But uh, yeah, so this is the chainsaw. So it works that way. Uh, I think it has a decent amount of damage on it. So, well, looks like it has low damage, but I thought it was a lot more. Maybe I'm wrong. 
So it might not be even a good weapon. I don't know. <laughs> what time is it? It's a thunderstorm and there's no mobs out. I guess maybe they only spawn in the dark, 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 not in the open. I guess that might be it. I just thought, hey, maybe we can kill some mobs, you know? Hello, creepy mobs. I'm an unexpecting victim. Obviously, it's not our day to die. Anyways, and then we got this guy, so he has fortune on him. But yeah, like I said, he's not a... As far as I know, he's not a 3x3 three three or anything like that. I wonder if the chainsaw silk touch can pick those up. Or you need, like, shears. But I'm just wondering if I put silk touch... No. Maybe shears would be the one that you would want on that then. Possibly. But, uh, yeah. I guess I fell in this before, because that looks like my handiwork. Or maybe I dug right up. I don't know. I got trapped one time and did the whole dig straight up. I hear a monster. Can we be friends? Oh, he sounds like he's outside, to be fair. I just want to see how much damage this really does. Because sometimes the... Tooltips aren't really accurate, or it could be very accurate, and they just suck. So if, I, if this is on Silk Touch, do these? No. So they're definitely not Shears. Yeah, I really wish I could find that spider that was just hissing at us. Oh, well, night's almost here, so... We can see what it does here in a minute. Oh, here we go. Wraiths just showed up. They definitely not. Okay, so it's not very high damage at all. I was just wondering. Yeah. Oh, gosh. It takes way too long to kill anything in with these. Okay, so there you go. Not really good damage. It's a little faster, though, than some of the weapons, so you can kind of spam it a bit more, but... I definitely don't recommend it as your weapon of choice, anyway, so... But, uh, hey, cool either way. So we got uh, the drill and that made. I just, uh, you know, it's it's basically, you know, just your regular axe. Now, we have that tree felling type thing, right? So, um, unless if I can add that to the list without, you know, with it using its durability or fuel, um, I can see it kind of becoming a little useless for that, too, unfortunately. So, that's just how the thing happens. Anyways, okay, so let's get rid of this crap out of my inventory here. Do, 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 do. Oh, you're supposed to be down here. Yeah, I just usually dump this stuff over here out of my way. There you go. Let's so put you in here. Okay, so that was pretty much it for that. I, I, yeah. So that that went really smooth, actually. I'm surprising it went so fast, but uh, I'm happy about that. So yeah, you got your uh, obviously your light fuel going in here. You're slowly using up this fuel, obviously. Um, so what other uh, things can we look into? So we got that. Yeah, yeah. There's uh oh yeah, you get the jetpack you can make too. Don't know how well that's gonna be, but I guess we can make the jetpack. So let's look at the jetpack here. Um, the jetpack here. So we need uh, these guys again. Uh, so we need four of these, I guess. A little expensive, but it's for a good cause, right? Oh. We really run out of, oh my goodness, we ran out of electronic circuits here. So, the good news is we should have most of everything in here if I can remember which ones are which. Actually, it doesn't look like that's one of them. Where's the other part to it? Transistor and that one. So, you got the transistor. What about the crap? I forgot what it looks like already. The white diode. Do I, do I really have no diodes in here? No, it looks like I have no diodes. Well, that's embarrassing. 
So it's not a really expensive one to make. I uh, just need Electrum and a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so let's do that. So one, two, three, Electrum there. We need uh, one, two of these, and I think one was steel plate, which I'm out of steel plates, but I think I made a bunch over here, so we should be good. Yeah. Okay, and I know I'm missing one more thing, I think. Oh, glass. Oh, yes, the glass. This is actually kind of annoying, but I do have a bunch of glass ready to go here, so. A ton, but I need to go get some sand. That's kind of the funny part of this. Okay. That's probably why I didn't have uh, those circuits made in more in bulk, because literally that missing glass, and I think I made a stack of you. I keep making a stack of you. I swear, if I'm missing you again, I'm going to go freaking crazy. How do I keep losing? Like, I didn't make a stack of those circuits ever, so why do I keep missing a stack of you somehow? I'm trying to look at the blue. It's blue, so, like, how do you lose blue, right? Maybe I didn't make a stack again. Maybe I thought I made a stack. I don't know. I swear they have their own, like a life to them or something, and then they just like to disappear. Oh, well, maybe I didn't because of the batteries again? I don't know. After I realized the batteries, it's like, maybe I didn't make a stack. I don't know. Okay. Sure, why not? Okay. There we go. I'll just go for all of them. Okay. Back to the regular programming. So we were trying to make the jetpack, which then we needed another of you. Okay. And then we needed uh, another... Oh, we're at all aluminum here. There you go. We need a piece of glass here with you. There we go. And there we have it. So we got that. And then boom! Ear breaking session. There we go. So, we'll see how this one works. Now, there's supposed to be a flight key somewhere. Oh, at least you can see it on the, the usage thing there. Uh, jet oh, up the top. Okay, so controls, keybinds. Let's see if we can find this. So let's see if they have their own. Oh, flight mode, V mode. Okay. Um, let's do F because I hate the F key anyways. I never use it. Reset. There you go. There you go. That works. There you go. Wow, that's a pretty cool uh, jetpack. That's, that's, yeah, it doesn't get you... Oh, crap. What the fudge? What the hell was that about? I don't have an Electra, and they must have built the Electra in the jetpack. That's actually kind of cheap. Oh, it still uses it. Oh, I see. It's jetpack mode, but yeah. Oh, I get it. Yeah, so it's sort of like the Electra. Oh, my. So let's visit Electro's house if we can make it there. Holy crap, this moves so fast. There's always something to nerf our train system. This is actually, the way it flies is actually pretty freaking cool. But this thing is like OP as shit. Oh my goodness. So Electro's house should be around here somewhere. Am I past it already or? I don't know. Oh, no, there it is. There you go. So here's Electro's house. Oh, crap. I don't know how to land. Do I just... Okay, you just do it that way? Okay. There you go. Ah, run! This is his, like, crazy chicken coop setup, and... Yeah, I don't know what's going on over here. This is where he lives, obviously. I guess we can go... Oh, there you go. Something like that. There you go. So this is his house. His wonderful little house. 
I have permission to use this door, it's just not everything else. I guess there are certain permissions you have and don't have. Interesting. But anyways, uh, yeah, so this is Electro's house. And yeah, let's get out of here. And let's go back to our home now. There you go. Fudging Superman, dude. Do, 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 do. Okay. Wee. I was wondering if it worked in here. They definitely went all Superman with this. Well, that's a very powerful jetpack. Oops, there you go. Ow. You gotta be careful with it. I think that's why they recommend those little booties and stuff for him, but... Uh, damn, son, that was some intense uh, craziness on that thing. Okay. Well, that thing is a little more OP than I ever expected. I don't know how I feel about that. It's pretty cool, but... Uh, I mean, that feels like god level, but I guess, you know, they're trying to keep relevant to, you know, so many ki people out there will play these packs and like, oh, but I played this other one and like within 10 minutes I got Superman speed. And it's like, oh, well, we're going to have to fix that up on our pack or our mod. Um, anyways, uh, let's see here. I wanted to check out something. Oh, those rubber, yeah, well, rubber feeties and stuff. So there was a rubber helmet, I think. I don't know if you can make a full body suit of it, though. I'm guessing they're, they're going to end up, like, with just, aw. Uh, I don't know what the head one does. It's maybe for safety, for crashing. There you go. So I guess the idea is you can, you know, jump off and not take as much fall damage, so. Yeah, there you go. I didn't take any fall damage, so. That is its purpose in life. Does use some of the durability for it, though. Interesting. Okay, so, um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. Let's see what that looks like in our advancements now for it. Oh, yeah, look at that. We went up in there. So, craft a vacuum, stainless steel. So, vacuum one might be our next one. There's a centrifuge. I never even bothered crafting it yet. Maybe we should just craft it for, for the fact that we can craft it. You know what I mean? Oh, gosh. I say that, and then I look at that, and it's like, eh, I don't know if you can craft that, dude. That's pretty expensive crap there. But we'll need it eventually, so let's make it. And that way we can say, we've done it. There we go. And then, oh, I used one of you, and then I ran out of you. Okay, there we go. And then we can go with uh, this, which we have one in here. I had one in here. There you go. And there you go. So there you go. Centrifuge. Um, you got the advanced steam turbine. I've never even made like the MV transformer and stuff like that. I feel like it was that the one. No, that was something like transformer. Let's see here. Transformer. I think it would be this one that it wants, but LV to MV? Let's see. Oh, LV, MV. It wants the MV to LV one. Okay. So... Oh, okay. So you can either craft it this way, or you can craft... Oh, I see. Just That's to swap it around. Okay, so yeah, we should be able to do that. Count. That way, it's it's already done in our uh, in our advancements there. Obviously, I didn't do it the right way. Oh, you're supposed to flip it, I think, or something. So, oh yeah, there you go. Now it should be. There you go. Optimus Prime. Okay. And then what else we have on here? Better than windmills. 
Um, yeah, craft advanced steam turbine. So you could do that if you want. Uh, advanced steam. I guess we just turbine. There you go. Oh wait, advanced steam turbine. Was that what it said? Oh, craft an HV steam turbine, advanced steam turbine. I don't know if they mean this or the large one. Oh no, that's steel. So they must be meaning this thing here. Wow, that's expensive. I don't know where they think I made out of all this money or something. Jesus, this is going to make me poor. This is one of the expensive ones too. I think I made some of the those, didn't I? I was like, oh, well, yeah, I did. Cool. But it is an advancement, so there you go. Cool. That just makes me happy because it just kind of brings me up further. So that stuff's done. These ones were the basic upgrade was just insane because it required a bunch of other stuff. So, uh, yeah, it required the polyethylene. Make polyethylene, you either use chromium or leading, uh, lead uh, tiny dust, which that's not bad. And then you need ethylene. So ethylene requires you to do steam crack. Yeah, so and then steam crack requires nethylene steam. So the steam is not an issue. This one requires uh, sulfuric uh, nephila, nephila, whatever. And then this one requires crude oil. So, yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a, you know, set up there so that's its own thing and that's why i'm not really worried about that i don't need the speed upgrades now the only reason you know if i even wanted to attempt to do that would just for the fact that you know get the advancement done right um but yeah so it looks like we're working our way up so the next one is a digital circuit basically digital i feel like this one is going to be out of our league i guess it was a stainless steel at this point stainless steel yeah so stainless steel is the next one we need to work on aluminium blah 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 so but my issue now is we're getting to the point where we really 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 need to consider uh dealing with um automation so i think what i'm going to start doing off camera is trying to build some of the basic automation i know it's something that would be probably more interesting to do on camera but i don't know if i could ever do it on camera that much because like we're talking about several hours of attempting to come up with something so um we'll we'll see what i can do maybe i can build a bunch of machines ahead of time and then we can do some recording together if i have an idea um but uh we'll, we'll see either next time or whenever um but uh, i i do think i need to start working on the automation get the you know the basic drills made so it makes a stack of the first drills you know the second drills uh the circuits for example very important uh, and then that way, like, it's not so painful because that's what big part of this pack. And I think we're getting to that point where we really, 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 really need it. Um, besides that, it'd be applied energistics, which uh, that's really expensive in this pack uh, for us. Uh, so let's see here. Um, you need your energy acceptor is blah, uh, but that's not what we need. We need the controller or whatever you call it. So do you see the controller there? It's funny. Every time I look, it's because it's dulled out. Yeah, there you go. So that requires the digital circuit. So this requires the the gates and stuff like that, which is a little more expensive. Damn. So yeah, basically not quite ready for that. So I I can still work on stainless steel to be fair and that kind of stuff. But uh, so we might even do that the next episode before I do like more automation. But uh, I think I need to look into getting automation done anyways for the future. Um, but yeah, we got light fuel here. This thing is, it's running, obviously. Um, this might have jammed up, though? Or are you just waiting? This all jammed up somehow. Oh, 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 you, you jammed up because of the sulfuric. Cool. Um, that's actually kind of good news, because that might give me an opportunity to do something with it. I guess these are meant to jam up without, uh, sh oh, I thought they would just keep going. Because of that, what I might do is more tanks then, because I wouldn't mind storing uh, some of that just in case if you need it in the future. I can always get rid of it if I don't, right? So it's kind of a good news for me. So I might do that uh, between now and the next episode anyways. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.